My name is Annie Pollen Sanfasson, and I'm Ollie's mom, uh, and Ollie is uh, 11 years old. When she was very little, and it was a he then, I mean, a baby, I remember, you know, Ollie was very big, and I was thinking, oh yeah, little rugby player. And, and then I thought, no, you can't just start telling that to your child, you know, you can't make the destiny. She wanted to have a doll, so we went to Toys R Us and we bought a doll. And basically, that was the first time, you know, uh, you know, I thought maybe it's just a face she wants to play with that because at the same time she used to love Thomas the Tank Engine. So I thought, yeah, you know, she's just going to grow out of it. But you know, obviously, it was much deeper than just being uh, a face. It was like her own identity that she was starting to construct. For me, it was really clear that I couldn't be surrounded by people who can't support that because it's my child who's going to pay the price, you know? And today she's got a really good self-esteem, probably because, you know, she knows, she's never had a doubt in her mind that who she is is wrong, because it's not. My name is Akiko Asano, and my child is named Matt, who is now 15 years old and who self-identifies as androgynous. He was born and raised as a boy because he had two older brothers, so he was in a, a male environment, and yet he enjoyed playing with all the girl stuff, like Barbies and dressing up as princesses and playing with the dolls and whatnot. Uh, Matt had been uh, dressing with uh, uh, his favorite dress under his boy clothes, went to daycare with that dress hidden underneath. And when we went to go pick Matt up, well, Matt had uh, taken away the boy's clothes and was only wearing the dress. So then we thought this is the time the transition has started. So um, from then on, Matt has started to use female pronouns and the, we just kind of like put the fires out as they ignited around our child. And Matt became a very compassionate, open, uh, cheerful and, and a, just a fun-loving kid to play with. So why would you not accept that and why would you not support that if it brings your child happiness?